Hi, I'm Miriam from FunFTC, and I'm here with Team 17774 Monroe Robotics here at the Chesapeake Championship. This team has a very impressive robot that has earned them the a top 100 OPR. Let's find out more about how it works on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so can you please start out a little bit talking about your intake? Yeah, so we have a very basic, I guess, surgical tubing uh, design. So we have three surgical tubing rollers, uh, and if, if you drop the intake down, uh, it pulls the pixels in uh, into, into, into the box. Um, so we, it's basically just a drop down bar, and then at the bottom here, we actually have a counter roller. So this spins in the opposite direction and it pulls the pixel up, uh, allowing it to get off the ground into the intake. Okay. And just is, did you go for any iterations uh, through that intake? Yeah. So we actually had quite a few iterations. Yeah. So we've had about five iterations with the intake. Um, we started off with, you know, crude prototypes and then we went into CAD and uh, design it. Yeah. And yeah, it was a, a lot of experimenting with different geometries uh, to figure out what is most efficient and effective. Um, so yeah, it was just a lot of the actual design of the intake that we had a lot of uh, okay. prototyping with. Yeah, and then once you the pixels are in your robot, how do you get them onto the backdrop? Yeah, so we actually have a three degree of freedom arm, so raise it up. Uh, this this goes back, and this sits just about parallel to the board. Our slides are actually at 30 degrees. Uh, so yeah, we just have two servos to power an arm, and then we have this box here that's powered by one servo. Yeah, and so can you walk me through a little bit like what each of these servos do? Yeah, so we have these two servos here. Uh, we have two axon maxes that power this this arm. So this rotates uh, this way, and then we have a belt that's linked to this box. So when this servo spins, this is a rev smart servo. It rotates this box forward and backwards. Great. So now, can you talk to me a little bit about your uh, drone and hang? Yes. So um, if if we look here, this is our hang. Uh, so it's actually uh, a a continuous lift. We use Misumi SAR two thirties. Uh, and there's surgical tubing sprung. So these naturally want to rise, and we have the string winch, which holds it down. Uh, so this rises up, and if you look here, uh, our drone actually just rests on top of the, the hang. Uh, we got this idea from Marvels of Mass and the way that they did their, their actual hang integrated with their main, main deposit system. Uh, but our drone just sits here, and it keeps going up farther. Uh, so once we launch the drone, it keeps going up farther. Um, and, and then this is high enough to hang on, onto the bar. Yeah. And this winch, this is just a winch string, so it just pulls it down. Yeah, and I noticed your string gets a little loose. Is there a reasoning behind that? Uh, it's just, it goes past the max height, and oh. it, it, it's just, there, there's no specific reason. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. And then I'm sure just as impressive as your hardware is your software, so can you please walk me through that? Yeah, so for our, um, we're using OpenCV computer vision, pretty similar, uh, pretty normal, but we have our, uh, camera here, it's just a Logitech C920. It uh, detects, we're doing color detection for our team prop, and we uh, have noticed drift in our odometry, so we've tried to counteract that. We're using both the IMU to relocalize the heading, and we're using April tag localization. So we detect the April tag using our camera, and depending on, we have the, we pull the metadata from it where it is the XY on the field, we can relocalize where the robot is depending on that. And are there any sensors on your robot that you use to help you? Yeah, so um, during teleop, we have two color sensors in the box. If you want to run that, we can show you. Um, we use these color sensors to detect what pixel it is, and we can also, um, it'll automatically outtake the pixels if it detects there are already two in the box and we have more in the intake. It'll automatically run the outtake system to um, outtake any additional pixels we might have in our intake. All right, so that's amazing. Uh, thank you, Monroe Robotics, for your time, and good luck today. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. 
Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.